Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I know this video is a little bit different from what I usually do, um, but because I've got access to the Modern Warfare beta on PlayStation, the 2v2 beta, I thought I'd give it a, a little, I guess, my thoughts on the video, on the, on the game, um, and let any of you guys that can't get access to the game, a little insight of what's going on, and how I, what I think of it. So yeah, let's get into it. So, the 2v2 mode is really enjoyable. It's quite fast paced, as you can imagine, it's just two people against two people, and the maps are quite small and tight, um, which is quite nice, it feels quite like old school, like playing on Rust a little bit on Modern Warfare 2, or um, is it Shipyard on, or Shipment on COD 4. Um, some, some rounds will even last 30 seconds, that's how like close at quarters it is, depending on your teammates and whether, teammate shall I say, and whether you are uh, rush the people or stay back and be defensive um, luckily the games don't feel like they they end too soon because the games end the games end when one team reaches six rounds and they win those six rounds um, and if te each team keep winning alternating it obviously it can last a lot of time it'll be like one one two two three two etc etc so it can last quite a while and each round you start with a different loadout uh, you start each game with just a pistol and then you work your way up each round to different classes so you start we've got like a pistol with I think it's like a I think it's like a desert eagle I'm using now with a scope some sort of some sort of desert eagle I think um, and then next game I might start with like a machine gun uh, or a shotgun or uh, a sniper um, and then there's a light machine gun as well, I think. So that's quite nice. Um, spices up the game as well that you don't have to. You don't actually choose your own classes. When you're playing around and the timer expires, let's just say here we outdo it. So we go out and it's the timer comes down. Um, you have to then capture the flag, which will start in the center of the map usually. And if that fails, the following round, each team will have increased health. So you kind of don't want that to happen, because then you kind of make them a bit harder to kill each other next round. But, you know, if it does happen, at least you kind of, I think every, both teams lose. Um, and then it goes to the next round. Now going down to like the mechanics of the games and how I thought it was feeling, you can see myself waving back and forward here. It kind of feels quite fluid compared to some of the other games in the series. Like I move back and forth and left to right, the gun kind of sways back, and it's got this nice animation, um, which feels nice when you're using it. Um, and also when you're like actually shooting guns, I don't know if it's just me because I haven't played Call of Duty in a few months, but the kick on the gun seems quite feels feels nice when you're using the controller, um, and it feels like when you're you know when you're shooting it, it feels like you're properly shooting the gun. Um, and sound effects are really good on it again. Um, you know, as as each iteration of COD goes out, they do seem to improve some sort of sound design and um, gun animations. I always come in thinking, oh, it's looks it's better than last year, but who knows? Um, I also like re I also really like how when you run with the gun, um, sometimes you can kind of you lift your gun up in the air. So it's in your right hand and you kind of lift it in the air like a flag and you run faster. I think you run faster anyway. Um, that's always quite a nice little touch. Something different from the other games. Now whilst PlayStation users have early access to the game this weekend, I've noticed we're not actually able to rank up and unlock new classes. This makes it fair, I guess, to those who haven't actually got access to the game this weekend and it means that and I'm guessing it means that everyone will start at level one when the public beta is released um, on 12th of September to those who've pre-ordered the game anyway um, unless by tomorrow Friday and Saturday the ranking goes is unlocked but today is, is, a, is, is a Thursday the first I didn't realize you could get used on the 22nd I thought it was only the 23rd but um, maybe the rankings not activated until tomorrow but we'll see because of the ranking being inactive though, I did find myself getting a little tired of playing the same three maps and not actually progressing at all, other than my general game skills and familiar my, familiarizing myself with the game functions and mechanics. 
I kind of got I kind of got to the point where I'd played enough games and was just a little bit, you know, exhausted of playing the same. But apart from that, like the actual game overall is really fun, um, and it is nice to have a fresh, a fresh kind of take on modern warfare. I'm hoping that they bring back some old school maps as a treat to us big loyalists and fans. Overall, I'm pretty excited for the new Modern Warfare and everything else it has to offer. It definitely feels like a step in the right direction by bringing it back to the basics and what made Call of Duty so enjoyable back in the Modern Warfare era. Um, we all remember Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare. Those were just like the pinnacle of my childhood and I spent many hours in my bedroom making YouTube videos on Call of Duty 2, on Modern Warfare 2. So hopefully this... The, the rest of the game when it's released will be live up to the standards of what Modern Warfare was and hopefully this is a new step um, but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video give, be sure to give it a thumbs up um, and I'm gonna let you continue watching the rest of the game there's maybe like a, another round after this if I can get a throw knife kill on the next game um, but yeah it's good uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and um, all that jazz and I'll see you in a design video shortly. Thanks.